project, and today Mike is going to show us how to uh, tag a bonefish. So here's how we go. Here's our specimen, and uh, Mike's going to show us the deal. Come on in and get a good look. So I'll try to keep my hands steady. So here's the um, the tag stick we're using, and then it just kind of slides in here. There's a little groove in it here. So you just kind of slide this right in there, lock it into place, and then. Um, now what you're going to do is keep this uh, this dog leg kind of facing towards the tail. Now there's bones going directly down. Think of a, a plane going directly down here. That That's the goal really, to lock it in those bones here. I tell people to start from, from here to here. If you, if you angle here, these bones stop right where this dorsal fin stops. So really just focus your effort. Right here you only need to go about a centimeter away. This fish has already received some, some uh, tagging as you can see. So I usually start here, but since that's all beat up here, so you can remove a scale to grow back or go underneath the scale. Only go about a centimeter under, and then try to go like about a 45 degree angle this way and also down some. And I'm just going to slide that in there, get past the bone, pull it out, and give it a tug. And you'll see, this way to double check, it's maybe hard to see there, but this little piece of meat will move right there. That tells you that you're locked in that bone right there. If you weren't, it would just kind of, it, it wouldn't, it would just pull the meat on this side. But since I got that, that's kind of like my double checking. See how it's kind of moving right, right there? So it's locked in that side, and that thing is locked in those bones, and and good to go. And how long do those tags typically stay in there? Do they have a time in which they fall out after a couple months, or do they stay in there for a long time, over a year? That's an excellent question. This this little fish will actually will grow around in, and it should, it will stay with the, with the life of the, of the animal there. Now there's a chance that it could get bit off here. Now we use some other, these key bar tags, and those would last about three years, and then they would come off. Whereas these, these guys in Hawaii got me, got me motivated to use these tags. They're getting recaptures up to six, seven years later. So really that's why I'm switching to these tags, because it'll actually grow around it. This plastic called encapsulation will grow around the, the tag there and stay with the fish. So as long as a, you know, a parrotfish doesn't bite it off or anything. And she'll just kind of sit tight in there for the duration of the test field. Yeah. And then the tag numbers on, on the end here. There's also um, the tag number in here, but that's kind of inside the fish here. But also has the, uh, the toll-free phone number on there. Um, as well as we ask people to please record the uh, the length, also if available, the weight, the location, and the date, and, and call that toll-free number on here to report the recapture. Sounds good. All right. Let me get